Hi all, I just thought I would do a video on this uh, new pinpointer I've bought. It's um, from Quest. Um, I think it's only been out a couple of months, I think. I could be wrong, but um, it's called the X Pointer Max. Um, it's waterproof and it has discrimination. Um, it's kind of like the the Mine Labs Pro 35, which has the discrimination in. But I have the Pro uh, 35, and I find that to be totally rubbish. Um, the discrimination on there it only works up to like 15 mil. Um, it's this is in a total different league this pinpointer um it was a hundred and thirty nine pound altogether um free delivery um I'll show what it comes with anyways first. I hope you can see all this uh this video right because I'm having to record it upside down because I'm using my normal um digital camera and it's quite large and I've got it on like a, a, a tripod so you can't uh, get in at the same time to record so it comes with this um, holster which is nice and strong sturdy I like the way it has the matching hole at the bottom to match the the, the bottom of the pointer and it fits in there nice and snug so that's good it doesn't push through like some of the others. The pointer itself is well made, nice uh, rubber grip on there. Um, it comes, that, that's the manual, which there isn't a great lot on there, it's got other countries on there. That is just the English part there, plus just that bit there showing you the um, which bits what type of thing that's just in French Russia whatever registration card couple of stickers a little catalogue um, accessories is charging cable because it's rechargeable and all this pinpointer I'm not sure how many volts the uh, actual battery is um, I assume it's um, lithium um, a spare seal for the screw on cap and two scrub bungs if that's what you want to call them for the tip end <laughs> um, oh, it comes with a lanyard and all now this one the charging port I don't know if you can see or not the charging ports in the back there hopefully you can see and in the center there's a, a plug wheel for the speaker and this is actually in the back of the cap I don't know if you can see inside of it there but it has a jack plug fitted on the end which you would have like on a set of earphones and obviously that plugs into that hole which connects the speaker up And it's nice, uh, has a nice fit to it. That um, now the functions <laughs> you've got two buttons only you've got the power button and the mode button. And this here is the LE so day screen, and then there and there. There are two LEDs, LED lights, one's green and one's red. The green's for when you get a non ferrous signal, and uh, the red's for ferrous. Yeah, you can turn them two lights off if you want and just have it uh, so 
you see on the screen here and they're just here and by the tone uh, you can turn the tones on and off like most other uh, pinpointers where you've either got just tone, vibrate or both together I'll switch it on just a short press of the button now it automatically goes to um, the sensitivity setting I've got upside down there of the boost I'll make it too close to the camera it's seen boost there at the moment um, I'll show you picking up a coin etc before I go into the settings if I can remember the settings that is um, I've got a silver half crown here I'll move these out the way Silver half crown here. Don't know if that's focusing in, I can't see probably. No, nope. that's picking up either the stand or I've got it on the floor in the, my living room here. I shouldn't really because there's the, um, the support rods and stuff in the concrete. But, anyways, what happens is. Um, when you, it's picking the target up, if it's a non-ferrous target like this coin is, you'll get um, ores popping up on the screen and the closer it gets, the more you get on the screen till it gets to the end. And uh, you'll get the red light on to show it's non-ferrous. As you can see there, Beeps is getting faster and the ores is getting longer and longer. So that's the crown. I've got a, a grubby penny here. I don't even think I've cleaned this one from there. Uh, I found it sometime. Sometimes what I've noticed is, and all if you get right close up to the the point that it comes up with a, it says raise coin. I know it does it with a crown. Yeah, raise coil it says, but it doesn't say that in the bit manual, so I'm not sure why. Got a half penny here. Uh, a large button, a livery button, I think you call these. And here I've got a, a rusty nail now on anything iron, rusty, that sort of thing it'll come up with X's on the screen and you'll get uh, a different tone to indicate that it's uh, it's ferrous. You can hear the difference there and it's the same as the, uh, the zeros or the rows or whichever it is. They get uh, more and more and more as you get closer and faster the tone gets. see it take off the computer <laughs> and this should uh, come up as far as there's all the X's a little tiny dingy screw let's see them again musket ball 
Can you hear the difference from the ferrous to the non-ferrous? Um, medieval penny, network penny. Sometimes you do get the odd bleep, uh, see and ferrous, but best part of the time, like it's uh, spot on. Medieval half penny. So half penny. Yeah, half penny. A medieval cut penny. And I think this is a medieval farthing. Very tiny medieval coin, possibly a farm and all. Um, and if, if you do get any interference on the pointer, uh, with this, all you need to do is just a, a quick short press of the power button and it resets it. It doesn't reset the settings or anything in, in the pointer, just um, the ground balance type of thing. So you just quickly press it like that. Um, but what it also does and all is it does like a, um, a sizing, uh, like, a like a pointing, pinpoint sizing like you get on the DS does it, where you can bring an object in closer and closer type of thing to the um, to the detection point say it's a large object and you're not quite sure exactly where it is you can size it down if you get what I mean so that's where it's picking it up there so if you, if you quickly sort of press briefly press the pointer whilst it's detecting it it brings it down so it gets closer and closer to the target. So if come in again, press it. It's brought it in again. See, so it's farther and farther away from it before it's picking it up. So you're sizing it in. If you move it away and press it again, it's back to normal. Uh, the features so you hold the mode button in for three seconds. Uh, the first thing up is the volume, and if I'm right to change it, you Press the mode button again. Uh, it's on one, then two, three, four, five, which is a maximum. I mean, the pointer itself is uh, really loud, so uh, it's got a lovely loudness on it. Uh, to move through the menu, you press the power button once. Now, this is the torch which I left off before, but to put it on, you press the mode button again. And now it says on, and it's on there. To turn it off again, press the mode button again, and then moving on, power button again. Now this is for the LEDs, for the ferrous, non-ferrous. So if you press the power button, I know I've went the wrong way there, I know I've just went through the menu on that. Go back around again. You press the menu button to turn it on or off. So that's the, the LEDs off, so you're just getting the 
Oh, I forgot you kind of uh, you've got to save it before you can uh, use the pointer again. To save it, uh, what you do is you just keep your finger on the power button until it powers off and it automatically saves the settings. So I'll put that back on again. And the next one, though, that's the lost uh, tune for if you leave it and it's not being used. Um, it gives you an alert to him after three minutes, I think it is. It, but it only does that for three minutes and then it automatically switches off. I think that's right. Uh, the disc, now you can turn the disc on or off if you like, so um, I've got it on at the minute, but if you turn it off, you just use the mode button again back on. So if you don't like that option, you can leave it off. And that's back to the volume again. Now to save it, as I was saying, you have to keep your finger on the power button until it powers off. Yeah, not saved them. Turn it back on. Um, what was the other? feature again. Oh, if the sensitivity. Oh, we first there, uh, the option for the vibrate and non-vibrate, you just quickly press the mode button, I think. Yeah, and that's, that's just the alarm without the vibrate. Press it again, that's just a vibrate with a ferrous non ferrous light zone. Press it again, and that's back to the two one. And the sensitivity, I think you keep your finger on the mode button and press the power button. Yeah. But you've got to do it before the um, the menu pops up. <laughs> so that was on was that low? Yeah. And then see him again. That's on mid. See him again. That's on high. And once more, and that's the boost mode. Um, and I can't really think of much else on it other than I, ha I haven't tried it outside yet, just indoors. Um, and I like the options in it. Yeah, I think the features is great on it. The depth is great on it. Um, and I really like the quick retune and the, the sizing on it, the, the target size, and that's great. Um, Try to remember how long the battery it says it lasts. Um, can't remember offhand. Is it 14 hours or something? I could be wrong, I, I forget now. But uh, yeah, I'm to. Looking forward to trying it outside to see how it performs outside in real time. Um, I'm not sure what else I could see. <laughs> I didn't show the ring, did I? I had a ring there. <laughs> I keep forgetting to look at the camera to see if I'm uh, in, in shot. <laughs> Not sure if you're seeing the the distance detection probably neither. I should have really done it on a, um, a board with a ruler or something. <laughs> but uh, as I say, the, the depth is great on it. Um, and it doesn't seem that often that's false and in the house just uh, every now and then. But as I say, it's just a case of a quick press on the power button and uh, it retunes. The only other thing I would say is um, 
the the buttons the rubber on them seems pretty thick so it, it makes it a little bit harder for pressing the button in or keeping it pressed in uh, so if you had gloves on it might be a little bit of an issue but uh, I'm not sure I'll see once I, I try it uh, when I'm out detecting um, the buttons itself aren't that big compared to like so the garret in that way you know the size of um, like an average thumb to sort of thing these are fairly smallish but we shall see well thanks for watching guys and may catch you again